The Pelotonia community and the Buckeye community gathered tonight to mourn the loss of a man they describe as legendary. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Christine Varconi and for Audrey Hassan. Mason Fisher died Saturday while riding the 102 mile Pelotonia ride. He was a medical student at The Ohio State University and described as a friend to all. NBC4's Anna Hoffman attended tonight's candlelight vigil and tells us Fisher's loved ones say his spirit is irreplaceable. Friends and family of Mason Fisher say he died doing what he does best, making a difference in someone's life. This was Fisher's third time riding in Pelotonia, his first time doing the 102 miles. So his friends and family thought what better way to honor his life than to finish what he started. As the cyclists took their mark one last time for the weekend, they looked around to see a community all there for the same reason to honor the life of Mason Fisher. He pushed us to do you know, better things than we've never done before. Fisher died Saturday while riding in Pelotonia after experiencing a medical emergency. His loved ones say Fisher was riding for his mother. He had only two miles left to go. So that's why Sunday, his loved ones finished the ride for him in his honor. His cousin even using Fisher's bike. He really cared a lot about the James and about cancer research and patient care, so I'm, I'm sure he would have loved to see all that. The aspiring surgeon's friends and family described him as selfless. He put everyone else first during the ride. He was pushing me to get up the hills and to finish and to get to the next rest stop. Passionate and a legend. He was, he was a big personality in the best way that can mean where he very much filled the room up with his love and his caringness and also his energy. Those at the candlelight vigil embraced each other, found their faith and told their favorite stories. Fisher's loved ones say he was driven with everything he did. So this was their chance to return that and pray he finds peace in knowing his ride is now complete. And so it will be very, very difficult actually impossible to replace um, him in our in our medical school class. Fisher's Pelotonia fundraising page is still open and he has exceeded his goal by thousands of dollars. Local for you at The Ohio State University, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.